Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the Windows 10 Snip and Sketch tool to take screenshots, screen grabs from your Windows computer. So in the past, or I shouldn't say in the past, but before we we're used to using the snipping tool, which is a very easy to use program. You just pretty much just click new, draw where you want to go and let go, and then you have your picture and you could save it and mark it up and that kind of thing. But if you notice, now when we go to the snipping tool, it says it's going to be replaced by snip and sketch. So it's kind of like an upgraded version of the snipping tool. So you could either get to it from here, or you could type it in your Cortana search or your regular search. Snip and sketch. And you open it, you'll notice it's kind of just a blank screen. It gives you a, a little suggestion of how you could capture your screen without actually starting Snip and Sketch by pressing Windows key, Shift, and S. And up here we have some options for starting a new snip, or we could do a delayed snip. So what this does is you click on whatever time you want, and then you could you know, open the proper window to what you need, and then start the snipping process, kind of like what you do with your camera when you want to take a timer shot. So for now, we're just going to go New. And then, you can, as you can see, you have a rectangular snip where you draw a box. You have a freeform snip where you could draw like a circle or a weird shape. You could catch your entire window, or you could capture everything that's on the screen. So we're going to do the rectangular snip. And let's say we want a picture of this dog here. Just draw the box around it like you would with the snipping tool. And now you can see we have just that part here. And if we want, we could just save this as is, as an image file. We could copy this image and paste it into an email or Word or something like that. You click on Share. You could share it with whatever app you might have installed on your computer. You know, Zoom in. And then, of course, here we have all of our touch-up buttons, like here. Touch writing. So if you had like a touch screen or a tablet type of computer, you could use that or with a pen input. And here we have, you know, markers. So if you want to you know, draw pictures and eraser, if you want to erase what you did, same thing here. You can go to undo if, let's say, you drew something. You're like, no, I don't like that. Undo it. And then if you want to crop it even further, you could press the crop button and do that. And just click OK or cancel. And then you also have these ruler tools if you wanted to make measurements for your crop and you know get things a little more exact. You could use one of those. I don't find that very useful. So when you're done, like I said, you could save it as a, a JPEG you know, on your desktop, whatever. Or you could copy it and then go into Word. Oops. and then paste it in there and then save it with whatever you like and so on. So very similar to the snipping tool that we were used to in uh, Windows, but I guess eventually, like I said, they're going to be getting rid of it. Not sure when that's going to happen. For now, I think the snipping tool is a little easier to use because it's, it's pretty basic and it gets the job done. But if you want to just start using the snip and sketch, you're going to have to use that eventually in the future. So... I guess might as well start getting used to it. So, yeah, like I said, in order to use it, you could open the snipping tool, click the button here, or you could do a search for snip and sketch. And other than that, it's pretty straightforward. All right, thanks for watching.